G'day folks, welcome back to Aim Small. I'm Gert, your usual presenter and the only presenter on this channel because I'm the only one crazy enough to present on this channel now. Today, um, I'm testing a couple of theories. Um, I'm trying to play Mythbuster today. Myth, yeah, it's very tough for me to, uh, as an Afrikaans speaking person, to get that English word out. But in any case, so I was wondering a lot about battle tuners and how effective are they and I decided, you know what? Somebody like Chris Froman can't be wrong. Battle tuners actually work or moving the weight around on your barrel actually works. So what I've done is I've asked a very, very nice friend, uh, Ruben from Duke's Silences and Duke's Technologies. I'll put the description and a link to his uh, website down here. He was so kind to sponsor me with a battle tuner to test out and to play around with. So I thought about this for a long time and I, and I had a funny feeling in my head that you know what? Barrels are very, very sensitive. Every time we try and get a barrel to group extremely well, I have to go through a plethora of different settings here, tuning your regulator, tuning your valve spring, and tuning the hammer, everything to get it spot on in this regard. So I decided now, nah, that's way too much effort. Isn't there an easier way to get the gun to shoot a different speed or the speed that I liked and have an easy way to fine tune the gun a little bit? And that is where a barrel tuner comes in. Yes, it does work. But it also pointed out something totally different that I did not want to accept, but had to. And that's that certain barrels are more sensitive than other barrels. Okay, so in the front of this gun, I've got my barrel tuner already installed. And this one is one hell of a nice piece of master work. So to Dukes at Duke Silences or Dukes... <laughs> To Ruben at Dux Technologies, guy, you know how to build stuff. This is probably the best piece of work I've seen in a while. Um, the battle tuner itself is effortless, easy to install, works like a charm. There's markings on it everywhere that you can see exactly what you're doing. You can actually set it up for different guns in the same scenario because the markings allow you to do that. So with that said, the battle tuner itself is quite a heavy piece of equipment. If you think about it in that terminology, and all that a battle tuner does is it actually shifts the weight on the barrel a little bit. Now there's certain guys whose battle tuners actually has an imbalanced weight. So as you turn it, so does the weight change on the actual barrel itself. The one that I've got with me is a pure weight that just shifts forward and backwards. Now that looks very suggestive. All right. It moves forwards and backwards on the barrel. Now I thought to myself, gee whiskers, how much, how far must I move that? barrel tuner to actually see an impact or a difference in the actual point of impact in the front and the short answer to that was not a heck of a lot all right so let me show you what i've done every time in between uh, a target i'm, I'm going to move the battle tuner one millimeter yes that's right one millimeter at a time and you can see on the video itself how sensitive barrels are and how much a small change in weight can actually change the harmonics of that barrel and what the point of impact shift can be in the front. All right, without too much babble going on, let's give this a roll. What I've done is on 30 meters, I've got my target there with six dots. I'm gonna shoot five rounds. Then I'm gonna adjust the barrel tuner by one millimeter, shoot five, and I'm gonna do that six times. So in total, it's gonna move about that much. So let's see what the difference is in that very, very minute adjustment to weight on the barrel and how it affects the harmonics. Pallet weight speed doesn't play an influence on this exercise, so if you really want to know, these are 13 grainers in my 177 600 millimeter FX barrel. Alright, one millimeter. Immediately there's a point of impact shift and that's just one millimeter swapping the weight or bringing the weight a little bit back. Let's go for another millimeter. Grouping was nice, higher than where I zeroed the gun. That grouping looks promising so that's now on four millimeters. Let's go one more. Hmm. 
Not bad. One more. Okay, those 30 shots, six times five, yeah, 30 shots, shot at exactly the same speed, plus minus 830 feet per second with these 13 gainers uh, redesigns from JSB. And you can actually see by moving that weight by one millimeter, what a massive, massive difference it makes on the actual accuracy of the gun. It is sometimes scary that we think that these barrels are all the same. We think that it doesn't matter what I put on, what type of silence I put on, the gun must shoot at the same place every single time. Now I can promise you this, if you change silences and there's a weight difference in the silencer, you'll see a difference in your point of impact. It's not always that the silencer, there's something wrong with the silencer or this is a great silencer. It's all about the weight that is added to the actual barrel and how it affects the harmonics of the barrel. Put those up and see what the results are and then I'm going to repeat the exercise but this time with a different barrel. The difference might not look extremely big on this piece of paper but just imagine pushing this out to 50 or to 60 meters what the massive difference then is going to be. As you can see there were three great groups at uh, setting two, four and five and some very very ugly groups at one, three and six. So definitely the battle tuner does make a difference. The challenge is, is it repeatable? And can you fine tune just about any gun? And the short answer to that is yes, you can fine tune just about every gun. You just need a little bit of time. And this is where this exercise just gave me a massive headache. All right, so I wanted to test Will I get the same results or the same impact if I put a shorter barrel on? This is the 500mm liner. But the challenge is that the uh, barrel tuner doesn't fit in over the sleeve and between the bottle. There's not enough gap. So what I did is I put the buddy bottle on this short little bottle. This one. Still, I can't get the 500mm uh, barrel to fit with the battle tuner in that regard. Sorry, I'm stumbling today. So what I did is I took out the Lothar Walter barrel to see if it can't fit on there and lo and behold my grab screw that holds my silencer in place, my silencer adapter in place is too high. So I need to get somebody to cut this off or get a smaller grab screw. Short of the story is I can't put another barrel on here with the battle tuner. The only option for me is to see right can this exercise be repeatable? So without adjusting anything on the gun, I'm going to reshoot all six targets with the different settings. I did mark the battle tuner as I go along. So can this be repeatable? Because if, if nothing is repeatable on the gun, it's not worth having. Let's have a look at what happens. All right, let's see if this thing can repeat itself. Same barrel, same target, same speed, same everything, same settings in the front. Setting two, hmm. three, uh, all right, let's go measure up and give you a summary on that. The nice thing about this battle tuner is that it is repeatable. Number one, two and three are actually marked with a piece of tape on the battle tuner itself. Four and five and six I didn't but I got it as close as humanly possible to the original settings. And the groupings improved again. Again grouping number two, four and five were the best with one, ah, not too shabby but three and five just about ugly. So, yes or no? Let's look at this. Get to a simplistic conclusion here. Is a battle tuner worth the while? In my humble opinion, yes. Will it work in all circumstances? No. The only thing I can recommend is if you buy a battle tuner, get a decent one. One that is very, very easy to adjust. One that's going to fit between your obviously your barrel and the actual uh, bottle so that you can actually get it onto the gun and then look at for application so if you've got a gun that's not as adjustable as an fx a battle tuner is almost a certainty in that regard specifically if you're going to shoot bench rest if you've got a set distance 
and a set speed, a battle tuner will definitely help with accuracy just to narrow those groups a little bit, get the harmonics correct within that specific barrel and system. If you've got an adjustable gun and you're going to adjust it every single time, no need for a battle tuner. You can do what the battle tuner does by small increments on your gun. So for me, without changing too much speed, I need to adjust the, adjust the valve in front and that small increments in speed up or down will be the difference between accuracy or not. But as I said, if you've got a gun that's not adjustable at all, where you can't up and down the speed easily or you don't want to change your speed, invest in a battle tuner. It will help you and assist you in getting those groupings a bit finer. If you are going to shoot the exact same speed every single time, no brainer, get a battle tuner. If you like me, playing around, you're playing with a, a hell of a difference in atmospheric pressure, temperatures, whatever. I don't think the battle tuner is going to be the, the best toy to play with. And the other thing, the only negative thing about the battle tuner in that regard, it, it is heavy. So if you're going to walk in the felt with it, it is going to be an additional weight onto your gun. Um, I'll put the weight up on this one now. I'll go and measure the exact weight on it. So it does add a little bit of pressure onto the barrel itself. It does drop the barrel. It droops a little bit in the front, so your point of impact is going to shift initially. But from an experimental base, if I was a benchless shooter, I would invest in a battle tuner for sure. Because those small little increments, one or two millimeters, is going to make a massive difference. What was shocking to me was that by just shifting that battle tuner by one millimeter, I actually saw a massive difference in the point of impact in front. It's almost a half an inch difference in point of impact with a one millimeter shift in weight. Getting back to my conclusion, barrels are extremely sensitive for harmonics. So if you can't tune it yourself, get a battle tuner, make it a lot easier for yourself. That's me, over and out. That's all, folks.